What's up guys, Zion here, and uh, today I'm just doing a little update video because I finally got my top surgery date, and it's gonna be on March 9th. I've got a GoFundMe uh, to raise money pretty much to cover my uh, recovery time. I'm not really gonna be able to do anything like during that whole first month of recovery. I'm gonna be pretty much immobile uh, as far as just I don't know for how long exactly, but it just obviously is gonna depend on how my body recovers as well. So all of that is a factor. My top surgery fund is just for the actual surgery and recovery. So anything will help because I will literally be out of commission for an entire month. I won't be able to work um, the way I usually do at my at my maximum capacity because you know I think the physical part isn't the only part that's gonna be taking me away from my work and being able to like make money for myself and pay my bills and stuff like that like a part of it is gonna be very much mental um, because I'm not gonna I'm gonna have to readjust like it's gonna be a huge change you know my whole body is gonna be changed but it's also a very invasive surgery and yeah, so I want to make sure that I can take the time out to recover and really like ground myself again because it's going to really shake my body up because, you know, I don't know how my body's going to respond to surgery. I've never had surgery before. So that's another thing. Uh, it's just going to, it's going to be, I'm just going to take it in stride and I don't want to have to be worried about a fight, the financial side of it um, because that is gonna stress me out <laughs> and, and like uh, that's not gonna help my recovery at all and literally anything that you donate will help if you literally want to donate a dollar you know I've been waiting a really long time for it and like even before I, I came out I knew that I wanted um, top surgery and um, even in high school like I wasn't saying I wanted top surgery in high school but I was saying like I wanted a reduction and stuff like that and that was when I knew that was I didn't really know anything like I I didn't understand my gender and but I just knew that I didn't want I didn't have any association with my chest like so yeah so I just have always felt this way have always wanted this surgery um and I feel like I'm just growing every day and becoming more and more myself you know I'm almost five months on T I'll be five months five months on T should be um in two days from when I'm recording this now. So by the time you see this, it'll probably be um, my five months. So, you know, things are just getting better and I'm feeling more like myself, but my chest is a huge barrier from me actually seeing myself as who I am, like literally. Like I've always felt amazing from every other part of my body. Like I really love myself and love my body, but it's, it's my chest that really like, hangs me up about how I feel about myself um because dysphoria obviously like I have dysphoria so it's like really something I can't help it's not something I could just be like you know it's just not there I could just ignore it and also like the placement obviously it's right here like you know it's in my in my view most of the time so um yeah like who knows I could be triggered by anything by you know by showering by by needing to go somewhere uh, really quick. Like even if I have to go to the store really quick, like I have to think so much about what I'm gonna wear, how I'm gonna wear it. Is it gonna cover up enough? Is it, do I need to throw a binder on? Like I do not like wearing a binder. Like for example, like literally my chest affects so much in my life. It affects every part of my life. Like even right now, um, I literally was making a TikTok, literally a video that's probably eight seconds long. I was like, I was just like, all right, forget it. I'm not binding, um, cause I wasn't binding when I first put the camera up, and then I set it up, and then I'm like, okay, I, I'm gonna throw this binder on, because that's I, I was getting dysphoric pretty much, and uh, and I ended up binding for the video, but it's just like at the same time, like for stuff like a video, like I I even have to like think about it, and like I just wanna just you know feel like everything makes sense. Um, you know, a lot of people, um, I didn't realize that somebody was, so, I forgot who said it, but they were just saying that how when they wake up in the morning and when things just make sense, you know, like that's a, that's a blessing. Like it's just something to be thankful for because not everybody has that. And a lot of cis people have that feeling of waking up and looking at themselves and they're like, okay, yeah, this makes sense. But like people take advantage of that and don't understand that some people just don't have that like because of the bodies that we're born in pretty much 
I'm just ready to get my surgery. Like I'm beyond ready. Um, I do get a little nervous every now and then thinking about it, but you know, um, I was told by like my doctors and my and my therapist, just like literally, like if you get nervous about it, it makes sense. It's a very invasive surgery. It's surgery. You know, surgery is not to be taken lightly. So if I start to get nervous about it or feel a little anxious about you know how it's gonna turn out, it's normal. <laughs> so I'm just gonna feel through it and I'm just gonna try to stay patient for between now and my, my top surgery day, only thing that I'm focused on is preparing myself, setting myself up for success. So like getting commissions done uh, beforehand so that I can turn them in and then have that money for it um, to just pretty much take care of myself. Between now and my top surgery day, I'm just gonna be preparing. Like I have, I literally have been taking notes on top surgery. I, I watch so many videos of other guys that have uh, gone through top surgery, what they recommend, like different solutions and all types of stuff like I literally have notes in my iPhone and a list of items that I need for top surgery so yeah if you guys recommend anything you could drop a comment below and recovery like I also have if you guys recommend anything for like recovery um, though because that I'm gonna be probably in bed most of the time so I want to make sure I'm comfortable I want to make sure I understand like what I'm gonna need in that time because I'm gonna be pretty much immobile I'm not gonna be able to do a lot for myself so that's that's the video and yeah if you guys want to donate uh, like I said before anything helps um, if you donate a dollar and share it that that will it goes a long way like literally so um, I thank you guys for watching uh, if you donate thank you so much um, I want to do something special for the people who donate and stuff like that after, uh, but uh, I'll get to that when the time comes. Until then, we want to try to hit the goal. My goal on my GoFundMe is 5K. Uh, go over there, donate, go over there, share the link, all that. The link is in this bio in the description uh, below. It's also in the bio on my Instagram. It's also on the bio on my TikTok. It's also, you can find the link. And if you cannot find the link, message me, DM me on Instagram, um, DM me or just comment down here and put your Instagram or something like that. And I'll literally drop the link to you. So yeah, that's all I got for you. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.